So once this uh, CC13510 EM on the on the uh, SR06EB is flashed with the sniffer, uh, uh, the, the, the hardware can actually be connected to your PC and uh, uh, your PC running with Wireshark uh, uh, as a sniffer software will give you the entire data log. Now just uh, 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 we will go forward and see how and what kind of configuration is uh, needed on, on, on the, on the uh, Linux PC uh, system. So what you can see here is that I have two terminals open. Uh, on one terminal I have actually opened the Wireshark uh, software but before actually opening the Wireshark software what I did was in the, in the first terminal I actually uh, 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 ran the script of sensniff. So I ran the python script of uh, by name sensniff. It is again available on the quantity uh, uh, git and uh, they also have a wiki page, information page, how to install it, how to use it, what kind of arguments need to be passed uh, when, you, when you actually begin the script, uh, the execution of the script and uh, again free to download. All this detail is again mentioned on the TI wiki also, that is the Quantiki hyphen 6 and wiki, how to establish and set up environment. So once you uh, run the script, uh, what it's, uh, it starts showing you is that it, it starts uh, sending you some message uh, in my case it is uh, sending uh, remote and not reading but uh, you don't have to worry about it essentially it uh, uh, starts uh, getting the data from uh, the uh, the pipe which is uh, being created the, the file which is being created from the from the sensniff uh, python script uh, and then we start the wireshark uh, in which we basically um, access the the uh, sensniff uh, python scripts uh, temporary pipe uh, in which the data captured on the USB port is stored. So what Wireshark essentially does is just reads that uh, PCAP file and then imports it uh, and uh, shows it into the Wireshark and you get to see all the data log, all the data log, all the data packets being exchanged over the, uh, over the network. Uh, so once you, once you uh, have created the Python, uh, you, have, uh, you have initialized the script, execution of Python script, uh, you can actually execute the Wireshark. So here you can see that on the screen I have deliberately opened along with the 6LBR web page which we just saw uh, accessible through my PC uh, and uh, and the BeagleBone, uh, BeagleBone Black uh, uh, console. I have opened uh, the the command uh, the, the command prompt uh, on my PC on which I was uh, uh, accessing the 6LBR web page via my uh, IPv6 compliant uh, router. On, on this I have actually pinged my BeagleBone Black. So that is the BBBB uh, double column 100 and uh, this responded me uh, successfully. That means my PC is correctly connected to my BeagleBone Black. This is one of the ways to first confirm that whether your BeagleBone, block, uh, BeagleBone Black got connected, got configured correctly uh, over the network or not and is accessible through the network or not. So please, please keep in mind, you, this is one of the things uh, that is uh, pinging the BeagleBone Black from your PC's command prompt, whether uh, it is a part of network or not. And uh, once you get the success of it, then, uh, then you, you, are, you are doubly sure. Now let's uh, uh, ping the, the nodes in the network. So what uh, I am trying to do is that I've opened, uh, I've on th through, through my console, what I did is I will try to ping the the node of my low pan network so you can see here the unique ipv6 address of all both the nodes and what i have done is that uh, to ping the ipv6 address i need to use ping 6 in linux and uh, i need to type the ipv6 address correctly uh, after that so i'm trying to ping here uh, 5201 node so you can see here that it's it's, it's the same address which is here and uh, the BeagleBone Black address is anyways they are uh, mentioned as a parent. So uh, once I ping it, I get successful pinging of uh, the, the the node, the the the, the board. That is the 5201, and you can see here this is a 5201. So I get the successful pinging of uh, the node. That means I have my uh, BeagleBone Black to PC connectivity also correctly done, and my node to my BeagleBone Black connectivity also perfectly done. So these are these two things are the ways through which you need to doubly confirm that all the things have been configured correctly. Now let's have a look on uh, the the Contiki uh, wiki, which uh, actually is the, the the source of all the information for us 
and uh, we need to go through this wiki first in the, 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 the as, as a first step before we begin anything they, it, it's a pretty nicely uh, written wiki which walks you through with all the all the collaterals you need to have watch with all the all the tools you need to have with you the understanding the knowledge you need to have from the hardware perspective from the software perspective and from running the demo applications perspective so here is the link for the quantity source code you can just go ahead and download it and uh, for the quantity software development environment that is instant quantity link it is here how to establish it the hardware which are going to be used the cloud connectivity that is the ibm cloud service the development tools for flashing uh, and for the for the for the packet sniffer all the tools we just we just uh, discussed about are are uh, linked here and the most important thing is is the the demo applications once all the things all the all the all the environment has been set and uh, you have the applications bin files generated you just have to follow the instructions uh, on this page uh, to to execute it so it has instructions for both the cc266 uh, demo which is uh, also runnable on cc136 and the cc266 web demo also so uh, as i mentioned it runs all these uh, services together six services the best part is you can turn off these services uh, 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 as per your convenience uh, in, in the project uh, hyphen conf dot h you just disable those services which you don't want um, and then uh, they will not be executed just rebuild it and uh, flash the bin files the very sleepy demo the needed hardware the, all the prerequisites and everything please try to stick to all these hardwares once you have uh, the the ti uh, em based setup uh, network established then uh, i would suggest that you start uh, developing your own boards and then try to uh, include them in the same network so that your reference uh, remains uh, same and in this uh, every single step in uh, establishing or sorry preparing the beaglebone black the edge router is explained in detail that is for the edge router you need to first flash the debian image in the beaglebone black and then after that you need to uh, install the slip that is the uh, rf interface uh, as we saw in the video that uh, i had connected smart 06 eb mounted with 1310 em on the usb port of beaglebone black so uh, this is this is the hardware definition which can be connected on top of it uh, to the to the beaglebone black for 2.4 gigahertz cc2531 dongle and uh, to to use cc2531 dongle as a slip radio along with beaglebone black you need to flash it with uh, the 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 hex file which is there in this zip file um, for the sub 1 gigahertz you will have to uh, carry out uh, the the uh, the configuration of uh, the the usb port on beaglebone black first uh, using using uh, these uh, uh, using using these uh, these commands here and uh, uh, for the sub 1 gigahertz rf interface uh, but before that um, you 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 need to ensure that uh, the the compilation in the compilation of uh, the 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 slip radio all these instructions are correctly followed that is the channel number the the uh, the the size the UI, UI micro ip configuration of buffer size and all to build this slip radio please follow these instructions instead of srf uh, iphone 06 uh, uh, cc26xx uh, you will have to use here srf 06 uh, um, um, uh, backslash cc13xx and then the slip hyphen radio bin will be generated you can flash it to cc1310em using smartrf flash programmer 2 uh, installing edge router once your um, debian image has been flashed on the beaglebone black you will have to uh, connect it uh, with the ethernet which has the internet connectivity and then you will have to update your debian and then you will have to install the bridge utils and uh, libin curses uh, uh, 5 hyphen dev please remember these both packages these both utilities need to be installed before running the demo you if in case you don't have an internet connectivity in your beaglebone black please download them on your pc separately and then copy these or put these utility packages on uh, beaglebone black and then unpack the package the, the respective package on it if you don't if you can't uh, uh, download it from the site if you can't clone the 6 lbr uh, using these instructions because these instructions will only work if you have the net connectivity on beaglebone black uh, then uh, what i would suggest is that please download the 6lbr package and then again install that package uh, separately on beaglebone black after copying it this is uh, so for the correct functionality of 6lbr two files are very very critical one is the 6lbr.conf which needs to have this entire content and nothing else 
in fact you can just copy and paste from here also into 6lbr.com by default in etcetera that is etc of xslbr folder 6lbr.conf doesn't exist there are other configuration files but this is the file which is being used by the service that is 6lbr service but it is not there so you have to have to create uh, 6lbr.conf with the content of it this this content um, once you have that then you need to ensure that um, your uh, uh, all, all, the, all the configuration has been taken up correctly or not you can you can use these commands to configure uh, sorry to confirm whether your uh, 6LB service has been configured correctly as per your desired uh, um, uh, 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 settings or not once you have done it then uh, you can change the channel um, uh, as per your convenience if, if you don't want to use uh, the 25 channel uh, if you want to use 10 channel uh, in case of 1kx is that is the first channel of 865 uh, uh, sorry 863.125 uh, megahertz band then accordingly you'll have to change the change the things so uh, connect the slip radio board to beaglebone black that is for 2.4 gigahertz rf interface when you connect the usb dongle it appears as tty acm0 so this tty acm0 needs to be correctly mentioned here you can see here the instructions also for 2.4 gigahertz usb dongle it will be enumerated as acm0 so you will have to enable this for sub 1 gigahertz that is the sub 1 cc 1386 1310em that will be enumerated as tt by usb1 so please just uncomment this and put comment here in case of uh, 13xx and in case of 2.4 gigahertz please use acm0 remember in both the cases the baud rate remains 115 to 00 then uh, subsequently uh, you can you can confirm also whether it got configured or whether it got detected on beaglebone black or not you can verify the things using the ls usb similarly in sub 1 gigahertz rf interface also you need to execute these instructions so that it gets detected as tty usb 0 and usb 1 you will have to you will have to execute these instructions 1 2 3 once you do it, uh, the TTY USB one appears into dev slash TTY, and then uh, you are all set from the hardware configuration perspective. Now just go ahead and start the service. That is from the command prompt of uh, BeagleBone Black Console. Just type sudo service sysb start. Your service gets started, and then you are all set to ping nodes. You can check through if config as shown in my uh, uh, video also uh, whether all the settings have been done correctly or not. Connecting to internet again, you need to have the open source RAP6 and NAC64 uh, uh, set up at your, uh, at your um, uh, BeagleBone Black and PC for, for the network connectivity. So uh, for finalizing the connect uh, setup, that is uh, not only the nodes being pingable and accessible through BeagleBone Black, but also from any other PC in the network, you need to configure the interface that is the ethernet 0 or the bridge that is the br0 for the ipv6 so please ensure that you you execute these two uh, lines also and uh, once you do it then uh, uh, whatever i showed you in video you should be able to realize it so that was all which i wanted to uh, discuss with you which i wanted to tell you from uh, the, the creation of the 6 lb 6 lbr uh, 6 lb pan uh, uh, edge router and uh, the, the the node configuration and establishing your own uh, network please follow all the instructions of wiki very carefully i am pretty sure that if you stick to those instructions and uh, follow them closely and um, precisely you should not face any issues from establishment of your network but just in case you still face uh, any issues just put your queries on uh, the e2e forums of ta.com or uh, on the on the uh, open source uh, platforms or open source uh, community uh, forums um, so with that uh, all the best guys and um, uh, keep keep uh, six low panning thank you